Hi everyone, my name is Tristan from the cpapstore.ca and the CPAP Store YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at the ResMed N30 mask. So this is the mask here. It is very similar to the P10. This is the P10 mask. And um, the major difference is that this is a cradle mask, whereas the P10 is a nasal pillow mask. So what is the difference? Um, a pillow mask looks like this. This is the front of it. Okay, so it has these two pillows here. Whereas a cradle mask is gonna be, looks like this. So nothing sticks into your nose and it just goes kind of right under your nose. Okay? So these masks are very popular masks, um, both the P10 and the N30, simply because they are a very lightweight, featherweight mask. As you can see, uh, there's not a lot going on here and that's really what makes this mask successful and why a lot of people like it. Um, another reason why the simplicity is a really awesome thing for masks is that I do find that with masks that are a little over-engineered, for example, um, the Evora Nasal Mask by Fisher & Pickel, uh, it's a little more over-engineered of a mask, and I find that with over-engineered masks, they work extremely well for a certain demographic of people, whereas for us other, I guess the opposite demographic of people, they can't use them at all. But with a mask like the N30 or the P10, these are kind of masks that if you're buying masks for the first time, you're new to CPAP, you want maybe your first kind of lightweight mask, you buy one online and you're probably gonna be uh, pretty happy with it. Most people are pretty happy with it and they fit a lot of people. So looking into the mask, we have the headgear back here. It splays out on the back of the head. We have this adjustment band right here and this can adjust the tightness of the of the uh, band, of the, of the headgear. Uh, the reason why this is important is because the older masks didn't have this, both for the P10 and, and I think the N30 came out because uh, it's newer with it, but the P10 didn't have it, but now the P10 has it as well. Um, and the older mask would stretch out over time and then uh, they'd be too loose on the head. Whereas this, even though if it does stretch out over time, you can just tighten this band and you're good to go. Wrapping around, we have kind of, you can't see it yet, but a little harder plastic underneath here. So here it's a very nice fabric uh, stretching material where here it's a little bit harder to keep the head, the headgear a little more structured. And then at the front, we have the cushion here. So the cushion is um, pretty simple, just two holes there, very soft. To, to take it out, you basically just pinch it and kind of pull it out like that. There's no clips or anything. It's really just kind of a, a pinch and pull and it's super easy. So that's another reason why these masks are so great is because they're easy to clean and easy to take apart. Like, look at that, it's fantastic. Next thing you'll see the cushion kind of leads into the tube of the mask and this tube comes kind of as one piece. Some masks like don't have this extra portion and the CPAP tube will collect on there, but this one does and you just put it right in here and it has a little swivel. Now because this a uh, little extra additional tube is quite light. It kind of adds to that lightness um, and takes away from the mask's feel. So when you have this in your bed, everything feels light, everything feels really nice. And you can kind of attach this portion here of the tube onto like a tube hook and then everything feels, you know, extra even more, even more light. Okay, so let's put this on me, for example. I'll show you how I put it on. I just take it, stretch it out. There we go. Spread the back out and that's how it looks on. I have this all set up. Yep, my, this is the CPAP battery connected to an AirSense 11. So I'm just gonna click that. And there it goes. Okay, so you might be able to hear it a little bit. Uh, hopefully not because this mask is known for being one of the quietest, quietest masks on the market. Um, and it definitely doesn't disappoint. It is extremely quiet. It's pretty much as quiet as the P10. Some people say, I think it's supposed to be quieter than the P10, but I would say both are pretty, pretty similar. Um, the one thing that I l don't like about this mask is that compared to the P10, I find that the cradle does have a higher tendency to leak than the pillows. This is because pillows kind of go around obviously the inside of the nostril, whereas cradles are just kind of setting in. And with this mask, if the pillow, like your sleeping pillow your, on the bed is pushing it a little bit, you can kind of, 
You could hear that a little bit. Like that. Whereas the pillow mask doesn't leak as much. Now, that being said, I do find that out of all cradle masks, the N30 is one of the best ones. It, it leaks, for me, extremely minimally. When I say it's not as good or not as good in terms of leakage as the P10, that's because the P10 for me, like rarely, like it, 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 it just doesn't leak. Um, so this one's just a little bit more uh, leaking that I find, but some people might find the opposite. One thing to note about that is um, obviously cushion size is important, um, but I found that with this mask, you gotta make sure that you're, you're doing the correct cushion size. Um, I use the small wide because I have a very squishy kind of like flatter small nose. Um, and when I put on the, just the medium or the standard kind of shape, it doesn't work at all. But with the small wide, the mask improves like drastically. So make sure when you get an N30, even if you think you're a small or you think you're a medium or think you're a small wide, I would try putting them all on and just trying them and just kind of like standing there, pushing your face, you know, putting the machine on and just see what leaks uh, the least. Uh, because I do find that it's a pretty dramatic difference of uh, the different sizes and how this mask fits. In terms of the diffuser for this mask, again, it is extremely quiet and I don't have any kind of jet of air kind of pushing out. You can kind of see it. There's little holes on the inside that kind of go out in different directions. So it is a very quiet mask and doesn't have any jet of air shooting your partner in the face. Um, to do a quick breakdown, I already showed you how this comes apart. Um, to take the rest apart, we just slide this off here. So you can pull like that. And again, on this side, we pull it forward and slide it around, comes off. And this, you can just easily scrub that with a little bit of light dish soap, clean it up really easily, uh, wipe the mask down with some wipes and look, look how clean this mask. Like there's no real place for bacteria to get in. There's a little cre small crevices that you're gonna have to brush out, but overall, it's just a very easy mask to live with and to sleep with. Overall, I think the N30 is a very great top tier mask. I'll be coming out with a best nasal mask of 2023 video soon. And I can tell you right off the rip, uh, the N30 is gonna be one of the top finalists there. Um, if you have any questions about what you see in the video, please contact us at the cpapstore.ca. If you have questions about the AirSense 11, uh, we can't sell it online due to current advertising restrictions with the ResMed, but we can sell it directly. So if you want an AirSense 11, um, please let us know directly and we can get that to you. And of course, this is the Go Battery by CPAPExtras.com that everyone knows and loves, works with all your different CPAP machines. Um, so that's it for the N30. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.